Okay, now this is pretty niche of an experience, but I relate. In college, I was studying to be an engineer. I studied abroad in Dubai, UAE. I realized I wanna do something that like doesn't keep me trapped in a basement. I wanna be traveling, I wanna be in the sun. I'm in my 20s, like I wanna travel. I worked the engineering job for two years, quit that job to travel and like see if I could do something with content creation. The pandemic hit two weeks later, so I didn't get to do that. 2021, I said, F it, I'm living my dream, I'm gonna do it. I left the US and traveled Poland, Mexico, Jordan, UAE, France, Spain, did my travel thing, Cyprus, all of it, 2021, for an entire year, did not come back to the US. But whenever I would talk to or FaceTime my family, um, they would be like, oh, Christmas isn't the same without you. Like, oh, it's like, I have little sisters. It's their, it's their birthday today. Like you're missing, I'll go, they're having milestones without you. And traveling gave me a lot of appreciation for my family and that like life is short and that your family is your family and like made me appreciate them a lot. And I, that's one of my favorite things that I've learned by traveling so much. But because of that, I traveled the world 2021. Last year, 2022, I made it my mission to be more in the US and spend more time with my family, see my family more. When I'm in the US, I'm kind of based in Seattle and my little sisters are in East Coast. So I would fly to the East Coast for a birthday or like I would make it a mission between work trips to connect through DC to see my sisters and my family. But when I was there, they'd be like on their iPad or my dad would just be working all the time and I wouldn't see him. We wouldn't like sit down for meals. Or I'd go out of my way to go home for a weekend and then my fam like that part of my family would be like, yeah, we have like a trip so you can come with us or you know, you can stay at the house by myself. I said no to a lot of jobs and I'm a content creator now so traveling is my jobs. I said, no, I'm gonna stay in this house here. I'm in Seattle now with my this part of my family. I'm gonna spend time with my grandparents. They're getting older, like I'm gonna spend this quality time. And then I would ask to like, do a game night and play board games with everyone, like sit down and have dinner at the table and actually talk. And I do have quality time moments, but like there were more moments where I would just like realize that we were all watching our own shows on our own iPads and not spending quality time. So that video I stitch is super simple, but I think is like hits the core of how it feels to come home when you are, I guess, young and travel a lot because you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't. Like if I'm traveling, I'm missing milestones and I'm a bad person because I'm prioritizing myself over my family and being selfish. But just because you're traveling and growing and like learning to live in the moment and appreciate that quality time doesn't mean that everyone, like no one, doesn't mean that they're learning that lesson too at home. So you come home and you remember all the reasons you left in the first place. You try to communicate that, they just wouldn't get it. Like why would they get it? So it's not good and it's not bad and it's no one's fault, but like I so just relate.